Welcome back everyone. I hope all is well. This is remote learning video number three for second grade. Second grade, today we're going to get more experience with Zentangles. First, you're going to watch a video that will add to your understanding of the Zentangle technique. Then you're going to pick an animal outline to redraw. Finally, you're going to carefully fill in that animal outline with Zentangles. Zentangles are not supposed to be rushed, but they're also not supposed to stress you out. So, since it's the last project, you can take your time. You'll only need a piece of paper and a pencil for this project. Do you ever have days when you're feeling kind of blue or worn out? Perhaps you've experienced a moment when you're feeling super grumpy or even angry. Well, two adults, Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas, invented an art technique called Zentangle, a type of doodling that calms the mind and relaxes your body. They discovered that doodling simple patterns on a piece of paper helps people deal with stress, get in touch with creativity, and turn mistakes into positives. Zen stands for calm. And Tangle stands for a collection of overlapping patterns. Whether you consider yourself to be an artist or not, you will find that the simple doodling technique, which you can do anywhere, will make you feel good. And here are some examples of Zen Tangle from around the world. All right, second grade Zentangles. I got my paper, I have my pencil, and I got my sharpener, just in case. All right, first thing I need to do is to draw an animal. I've always been fascinated by sharks, so I'm gonna draw a simple outline of a shark. I'm going to provide you guys with a bunch of different animal examples. Please don't use the same one that I did. Now I could probably make that better right here. There we go. Basic outline of a shark. Now for my Zentangles, I want to split this shark up into five big designs. So let's say in this area here, I want to do one design then I want to do another design down here that's two and let's say I want to do a design here that's three here is four and I'll make the fin back here a separate design so that's five places to do my little Zentangle designs, like a puzzle. So I'm gonna start out with, let's say I wanna do a zigzag design here. I'm gonna take my time. Raw condition to do everything so fast and not care about the quality. So please take your time. 
I'm going to provide you with some design choices so please don't do my exact designs I want to see how creative you can be and you just take your time So that's my first part of my Zentangle design done. Let's say I want to move on to, let's say the tail and I do some little designs in the tail. That's two designs done. And let's say I want to move on to this part down here and I want to do maybe a more complex like diamond pattern first I can start with my diamonds connect those together oops and do some more diamonds make sure they line up I'm going to be using a design to connect them together. Just some straight lines. And do some diamonds at the top. Make sure that they're lined up. Again, do your own design please. Now I can connect these. And I got a nice little Zentangle design down here. Now, you guys are going to do all five of these with a different design in each little section. I'm not going to finish the whole thing because like I said, I want to see your creativity. And I don't want you to just copy my design. So, enjoy. Zentangles. Remember, take your time. I can't express that enough. They said